Okay, hey, we're back again. Um, today we're going to be going over a Yozan 1-7, and the reason why I'm not going to be using my own flute um, for the for the Yozan is because I want to uh, I want to play one that was not specifically made for me by Yozan. So this is one that I picked up, um, and it was a, a part of a collection that I that I bought of of eight flutes, and it's uh, here's what a Yozan just the first one that I found, and there, I have a couple other ones too. I've got a, a one six and a one eight, um, and a one nine that are not my personal flutes, but ones I picked out um, and got from a collection. And um, so you get a, you get a sense of what uh, just like the, the average even Yozan flute sounds like, and you're going to be surprised because this one has has a big big personality of a flute. So let's just get it started with some rows. And if that row doesn't tell you, I'm in the room, I've, I'm here, I'm present, I don't know what row would. And I'm not going to go any higher because... It really that's all you need if you can hit that G and that a flat it's great it does have the C but the, the or well it would be a C sharp in this case but uh, it and it's it's it is loud this this the high note in this one is very very loud it is piercing and I could probably get all the cats in the neighborhood to start uh, screaming again um, the first thing that I noticed about this flute in addition to that row is even the Tsu right after it <laughs> It has the like that um, the characteristic of ro sounds like oh oh ro tsu and it has the warmth behind that su. So all of the notes really have oh hey, and it kind of changes that color as you go up, and that's a really really awesome feature to have in a shakuhachi okay you know what's next you'll probably be able if you watch all of the all of the, the shakuhachi reviews that i do you're gonna have itsuki komori that's just memorized and it will be haunting you in your dreams which i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing it's a beautiful piece so here we go And um, so there's like a, there's like there's the con um, the all the connections of the notes. It's a different type type of connection, where than the than the chiku sen tamai uh, that we that I played earlier. Um, the chiku sen tamai, it's the the type of like buttery smoothness that it is is different than the type of like tonal consistency throughout the throughout this. Like the the balance of this flute is so nice and it's but i can't i don't think i can quite put it to words how how this flute connects every single note differently than the chiku sen to mai does there's a whole nother different flavor of fluidity somehow and, and i it's it kind of bothers me that i don't have the right words uh for it uh but it is it is very very easy to play and all the notes just seem to like uh maybe that's what it is it's the notes just click into place kind of like the Takeharu did but it's there's more uh, maybe it is really similar to the Takeharu on how it connects they all just really connect nicely um, so for for this one um, what I do typically is I on a 1-7 as I like Tsuru no Sugumori 
So I'm, I'm going to jump around in this piece a little bit just to get some of the different flavors uh, that the piece has to offer. Jump to the next little part here. Oh, I go. I almost forgot how I played the piece. And then uh, we can do this other, this other cool part too. I like this part a lot. It's and I like one sevens a lot, and uh, in general, uh, even though I don't currently own one, um, I, I guess I I guess I kind of own this one, uh, but the uh, at least I don't have one that I use consistently anymore like I did a couple of years back. Um, the reason why I like the one seven is because it's so different from the one six and the one eight. It's actually like the perfect balance between the two. It's got the bossiness of tone of a one eight, but it's got the clarity and bell-like sound of a one six. And it, where everything just goes bing, and there's the note. But it's not thin, it has a warm, nice approach uh, to the, or you have the ability to get a warm and kind of softer approach to every single note uh, more readily than you would on a one six. So uh, another really cool um, experience to play a Yozan I've probably played hundreds if not thousands of his flutes uh, and I, I enjoy uh, the variety of sounds that he gets with all the different sizes that he makes. So still more flutes to come and uh, more flutes in the future so stay tuned for another Shakachi review. <laughs>